Hi there, it's Dr. Sarah here with Balance Within Physical Therapy. Today, I wanted to chat a bit about how your core and pelvic floor can play a really important role with headache, neck, and jaw pain. And I know that that sounds kind of crazy because those two areas, our pelvis and our upper half of the body are pretty far apart, but they're actually pretty closely related. There's actually been a lot of research that's come out lately that most people that have headaches, jaw tension, neck, shoulder tension, you know, a lot here, they're usually tight and holding tension in their pelvic floor too. And so it's pretty wild how when we work on this area to do myofascial release, help train relaxation, it usually helps people relax the pelvic floor region and helps with tension and pain there. And the neat thing is that it's actually a two-way street where when oftentimes if people come in with pelvic pain, tailbone pain, things like that going on, and we help them learn how to relax those muscles and perform some gentle myofascial release to loosen things up, it's super common that I'll hear from them that, oh my gosh, my headache pain is better, my jaw tension's better, this tension through my neck and shoulders is better, and you didn't even touch that, and it's related. So that's a kind of neat, crazy, magical thing in our body. Um, but the other thing that happens is that our pelvic floor and core are two of our main stabilizers for our body. So when these muscles are supporting us really well, that pelvic floor is like a bowl that supports us from underneath, and then the abdominals, our diaphragm, that whole cylinder of our body needs to be able to stabilize so that we can feel like we have a nice, strong midsection to operate off of instead of feeling like we're like Gumby through there. If we're feeling a bit wobbly through our core, our body is really good at cheating and getting things done. So it will tend to, when we're trying to lift or push and pull, if we can't anchor into our shoulder blades and anchor into our core, we're gonna tend to anchor up into our neck. And so as you can imagine, that creates a lot of tension, it tugs, it pulls, it, you know, we get tension through here, and then as all of this tension happens, then it creates a tug of war, we get tension here, it does not feel great. So as crazy as it sounds, one of our favorite things to do with people with headache, TMJ problems, neck and shoulder tension is to also teach them how to breathe properly, how to engage their abdominal muscles, how to stabilize through the entire core and the pelvic floor so that they can get supported from underneath and then learn how to anchor into those shoulder blades and keep the neck relaxed when they're doing all sorts of daily activities. So anyways, just wanted to share those tidbits with you. We love finding all these different missing pieces and working with tricky cases in our practice. We see a lot of them, but going back to these foundations and basics and really looking at the big picture is often a game changer. So if you're wanting to pick our brains about headaches, TMJ problems, neck tension, shoulder, pelvic floor too, we are happy to be a resource for you. There are a bunch of um, great articles and free guides on our website at balancewithinpt.com. Also, we are happy to do a phone call with you to answer your questions or a free consult. So I hope you found that information helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening.